Hi there, Chris from Stone Age Gamer here. Today we're going to take a closer look at the 7800 game drive from Retro HQ. This is a flash cart for the Atari 7800 that allows you to play your game backups, homebrews, and more on original hardware from a single cartridge. Let's take a look. This is the 7800 Game Drive Deluxe Edition that we sell at Stone Age Gamer. It comes in this deluxe bitbox game case, which houses the cartridge itself and documentation, including the 7800 Game Drive instruction manual, troubleshooting guide, and stickers. This is the 7800 Game Drive flash cart, seen here with our exclusive chromatic reflective label. This plugs into your Atari 7800 cartridge slot just like a regular game would. On the side is the serial debug port for developers to connect directly to their computer. And at the top is the micro SD card slot, where you can load the files you'd like to use with the 7800 game drive. On the front is the AV out port, shown here with our optional dust cover. Since the Atari 7800 natively uses RF only, this allows users to connect to their TVs via a Sega Genesis 2 style RGB cable for crystal clear visual quality. Note that this port only supports RGB, Standard composite cables will not work. The 7800 game drive is fully compatible with original Atari 7800 controllers, but has some enhanced capabilities when paired with the Mega 7800 adapter, also from RetroHQ. This connector plugs into your system's controller port and allows you to use Sega Genesis controllers. The extra buttons this provides can be used to access the game drive's in-game menus without the need for complex button combinations. Now let's see it in action. When you first power the unit on, you'll have the option to check for a firmware update. If you're using a Sega Genesis controller, just press Start and scan the QR code that appears on the screen. Applying the update is as simple as loading it onto your micro SD card and plugging it back into your game drive. Once you've got the most recent firmware up and running, you'll be brought to your game menu. These will appear however you organize them on your micro SD card, including folders. Simply highlight the game you'd like to play, and you're off. This is the 7800 game drive running on a Sony Trinitron CRT via HD Retrovision component cables. I'm controlling it with the RetroBit officially licensed 8-button Sega Genesis controller through the Mega 7800 adapter. The game shown here is Ricky and Vicky, which exclusively comes included with the 7800 game drive when purchased at Stone Age Gamer. During gameplay, you can press the start button to bring up the in-game menu. Here you can create save states, enable cheats, or return to the game menu. The game drive is also compatible with Atari 2600 games, but only on the 7800 console. The 7800 game drive will not work in an Atari 2600. This is the homebrew Atari 2600 title, Catacombs of Chaos, running on the 7800 game drive, and it looks great. However, it is worth noting that you cannot access the in-game menu or save states while running 2600 games on the 7800 game drive. These games will play exactly as they would on a standard Atari 7800 console, and that covers the basics of what the 7800 game drive can do. The 7800 game drive from RetroHQ is available now at StoneAgeGamer.com, so you can get the most out of your Atari 7800 in style. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked what you saw here today, please follow, comment, like, subscribe, share, and let us know down in the comments what is your favorite Atari 7800 game. Thanks again on behalf of all of us here at Stone Age Gamer. Keep playing games.